వెల్కమ్ టు రన్ ఆఫ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ క్లాసెస్ ఈ వీడియోలో మనం ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ కెమిస్ట్రీకి సంబంధించి కెమికల్ బాండింగ్ లోని వ్యాలెన్సీ షెల్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ పెయిర్ రిపల్షన్ థీరీ సింప్లీ బిఎస్ఈపిఆర్ థీరీ గురించి డిస్కస్ అయిపోతున్నాం ప్లీజ్ లైక్ ద వీడియో షేర్ అండ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ ది ఛానల్ we know that luis and cosel was able to explain the formation of chemical bonding basing on the valency electrons but that luis approach or octet theory failed to explain the shapes of molecules and similarly there are certain molecules whose central atom has less than 8 electrons similarly the central atom has more than octet expanded octet so these things failed to explained by the luis approach in order to explain the limitations in luis approach sidgwick and powell proposed this valency shell electron pair repulsion theory and this theory was further developed by nylon and gillespie so this vesper theory is used to predict the shapes shapes of the molecules shapes of the molecules from electron pairs that surround the central atom of the molecule and this theory is based on the premise that there is a repulsion between the pairs of valency electrons in all atoms and the atoms will always tend to arrange themselves in a manner in which the electron pair repulsion is minimized this arrangement of the atom determines the geometry of the resulting molecule so the main uh, uh, important issue of this vesper theory is the vscpr theory is the predict the shape of the molecules and how they are predicting based on the electron pairs surround the central atom of the molecule we know that that central atom in the molecule is surrounded by some electron pairs these electron pairs are used full for to useful for predicting the uh, predicting the shape of the molecule so this theory uh, utilizes the electron pairs uh, that surrounded the central atom in a molecule that based on the electron pairs it used to this theory predicted the shape of the molecule so this the main important point of this theory is this theory is completely based on the based on one point that there is a repulsion between the pairs of valence electron in all atoms so whatever electron pairs are there those electron pairs has repulsions and every atom tries to tries to minimize these repulsions by arranging these electron pairs in uh, electron pairs this arrangement only gives the very particular geometry to the resulting molecule resulting molecule so oh ee theory pradhananga entante kanakadu oka shape of the molecule ni predict cheyadaniki ante aa central atom chuttu unde tattuvanti electron pairs ni aadharam chesukuni then shape ni predict cheyadaniki upayogapadutundi and uh, the basis of this theory is manaki electron pairs madhyalo em untayo telusu repulsions untayo telusu ee prathi atom kuda ee repulsions ni minimize chesukovatam kosam em chestundi ante kanakandi electron pairs ni arrange cheyutunna aa arrange avatam valle molecule ki oka particular geometry anedi vastundamadi ee vscpr theory lo unnatundi pradhanamainatundi principle so the important postulates of this vesper theory is the the shape of a molecule depends on the number of electron pairs in the valency shell around the central atom the shape of molecule so the shape of any molecule each depends on the number of electron pairs in the valency shell in the valency shell around the central atom అంటే ఈ సెంట్రల్ ఐటమ్ లో ఉండేటటువంటి వ్యాలెన్సీ షెల్ లో ఉండేటటువంటి ఎన్ని ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ పెయిర్స్ ఉన్నాయి 
అన్నటువంటి దాని మీద షేప్ ఆఫ్ ది మాలిక్యూల్ అనేది డిపెండ్ అయి ఉంటుంది సో ఇక్కడ ఈ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ పేర్స్ అనేవి మనకి ఇక్కడ రెండు రకాలుగా వస్తున్నాయి వన్ ఈజ్ బాండెడ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ పేర్ అండ్ అనదర్ వన్ ఈజ్ నాన్ బాండెడ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ పేర్ దిస్ బాండెడ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ పేర్ వీఆర్ కాలింగ్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ది బాండ్ పేర్ అండ్ నాన్ బాండెడ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ పేర్ వీఆర్ కాలింగ్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ది లోన్ పేర్ లోన్ పేర్ వి నో దట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ క్లౌడ్స్ ఆర్ నెగిటివ్లీ చార్జ్ so that's why the pairs of electrons in the lnc shell repel one another so as the electron clouds are negatively charged so what happens the electron pairs have repulsions that's why they repel the electron pairs in the valence shell repel one another repel one another So another possibility, these pairs of electrons tend to occupy such positions in space that minimize the repulsion and thus maximize the separation between them. So whatever electron pairs are there, there may be bond pairs or those may be lone pairs. Those electron pairs tend to occupy such positions in space, such positions in space that minimize the repulsions. so as i already told in the postulate to so these electron pairs repel one another that's why uh, these electron pairs orient you know orient the occupy such positions in space that minimize these repulsions that minimize these repulsions so the next postulate is the valence shell is taken as a sphere the valence shell is taken as a sphere with the electron pair localizing on the spherical surface at a maximum distance from one another so here the valence shell is or take is considered as a sphere and the electron pair is localizing on the spherical sphere surface at maximum distance from the one another maximum distance from one another and the next postulate is we know that the lone pairs are localized on the central atom whereas bond pair is shared between the two atoms so we know that a uh, lone pair means which is not at all participating in the bonding that lone pair is localized and that is it belongs to only one atom whereas bond pair is shared between the two atoms so as a result as lone pair is localized as well as lone pair is localized the lone pair electrons in a molecule occupy more space as compared to bond pairs of electrons this results in greater repulsion between the lone pairs of electrons as compared to lone pair bond pair and bond pair bond pair of electrons as i have already told there are two electron pairs one is bond pair and another one is non bonded pair or which is also called as lone pair so these lone pair of electrons these lone pairs of electrons are localized localized means it belongs to only one atom whereas bond pair is as it is shared between the two atoms it belongs to the two atoms that's why these lone pairs of electrons occupy more space when compared to the bond pairs as lone pair occupies more space the, there is a greater repulsion among the lone pairs when compared to lone pair bond pair or bond pair bond pair of electrons so these repulsion effects result in deviation from ideal shapes and alteration in bond angles in molecules so generally we are observing uh, some ideal idealized shapes for the molecules due to these repulsions whatever happening is there is a deviation is occurring from its idealized shapes and alteration in bond angles alteration in so the repulsive interaction of electron pairs the repulsive interaction of electron pairs uh, in the uh, increase decreasing order in the decreasing order that is lone pair lone pair is greater than lone pair bond pair and which is greater than bond pair of bond pair electrons bond pair and bond pair electrons so the multiple bond the multiple bond in a molecule is treated treated as it is a single electron pair and the two are 
three electron pairs of a multiple bond or is or treated as a single super pair. So in Vesper theory, a multiple bond, if a single bond or multiple bonds, more than one bond exists between the two atoms, which is called multiple bond. A multiple bond is treated as a single electron pair. And uh, the two or three electron pairs of a multiple bond are treated as a single super pair. Single super pair. Uh, these are the ideal shapes based on only number of bond pairs and assumed that there are no lone pairs. If only two bond pairs are present, only two bond pairs are present, then the shape is linear. And examples for those molecules are beryllium chloride or mercury chloride. And the second one is if only three bond pairs are present. That bond shape is triangular planar. Only four bond pairs and no lone pairs, tetrahedral. And five bond pairs and no lone pairs, then trigonal bimodal. And there are six bond pairs. So, based on this Vesper theory, if there are only two bond pairs, the ideal shape is linear. If there are three bond pairs, ideal shape is uh, triangular planar, four bond pairs tetrahedral, five bond pairs trigonal bipyramidal, six bond pairs octahedral. And uh, with increase in the lone pairs of electrons, the shapes, uh, the shapes of molecules will be deviated from their idealized shapes. And when two or more resonance structures can be represent a molecule, the Vesper model is applicable to any such structure. So these are the important postulates in this valency shell electron pair repulsion theory. And as I have already discussed, if there are only two bond pairs, only two bond pairs, one pairs, the shape is linear. The shape is linear. And three bond pairs, trigonal plan, trigonal planar, and four bond pairs, tetrahedral. And assumed that there are no lone pairs. These are the idealized shapes based on this Vesper theory. Vesper theory. And five bond pairs, trigonal bipyramidal, six bond pairs. And this is the shape of the molecule is octa -hybrid. Suppose if number of bond pairs and number of lone pairs, number of bond pairs and number of lone pairs, lone pairs. So two bond pairs and zero lone pairs. What is the shape? Idealized shape is linear. 
hydrolyzed shape is linear now if there are two bond pairs and one lone pair two bond pairs and one lone pair and uh, how these electrons are arranged electrons are arranged in trigonal planar for example if you take a to b or a b to molecule a b to molecule so these two are the bond pairs these two are the bond pairs and there is a one lone pair on the atom e on one lone pair on the atom e now these three pairs that is two bond pairs and one lone pair are arranged in trigonal planar trigonal planar and the shape of the molecule is bent shape and the shape of the molecule is bent shape so if there are no lone pairs then the idealized ideal shape of the molecule is linear if along with the two bond pairs if one lone pair is present one lone pair is present the shape of the molecule is bent shape of the molecule is bent and the two bond pairs and two lone pairs two bond pairs and two lone pairs if there are two lone bond pairs and two lone pairs so total how many bond pairs how many electron pairs are there four for example let me take one more example you see here the example is a b2 the atom a has two lone pairs two lone pairs so now these are arranged in tetrahedral arrangement so but the actual shape of the molecule is actual shape of the molecule is bent here also bent you see in if you take two bond pairs and one lone pair there are a b this is called bond pair and this is lone pair only there are repulsions lone pair and bond pair only and bond pair bond pair repulsions are only present but if you take the atom consists of two lone pairs along with the two bond pairs there are three kinds of repulsions lone pair lone pair bond pair lone pair and bond pair bond pair. so that shape of the molecule is here also bent here also bent shape and uh, the third case is if three bond pairs and one zero lone pairs three bond pairs and zero lone pairs as i have already told trigonal plan the shape of the molecule is trigonal plan and uh, if three bond pairs one lone pair is present three bond pairs one lone pair is present then the shape of the molecule is trigonal pyramid trigonal pyramid trigonal pyramidal shape is the molecule is getting trigonal pyramidal shape trigonal pyramidal shape is getting right so like this we can able to how the shape of the molecule is deviating from its ideal shape based on the number of lone pairs as if there are no lone pairs if two bond only bond pairs linear three bond pairs trigonal plan or tetrahedral like this as with increase in the number of lone pairs shapes will be deviate from it from their ideal shapes thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel so this theory is or this question is most important in intermediate public examination point of view thank you for watching